its inception, the Congregation of the Order of the Incarnate Word and Blessed Sacrament has embarked on a remarkable journey. As they celebrate their quarter centenary, the Jubilee festivities have commenced, marking this significant milestone in their mission. We are here to invite all of you to our 400 years celebration of the existence of the Order of the Incarnate Word and the Blessed Sacrament. Our order was founded in 1625 in France, Lyons, by Venerable Jean Cesar de Mattel. The order spread within France through the direction of our mother foundress until the year 1789 when the French Revolution broke out and the order was suppressed then. And the sisters moved to the United States Bransville, where they opened the, a new community and started to spread from uh, the United States to Mexico and other parts of the world. We are in Europe, where we were founded. We are present in America. We are present in Africa. And in Africa, we are present in Kenya. We are present in Tanzania and in Rwanda. And what is their charism? Our charism is to contemplate, to live and to announce the mystery of the incarnation all over the world. And our mission in the church is Christian education. The sisters warmly welcome all people, including the lay associates of the incarnate word into their community. They foster inclusivity and collaboration, recognizing the unique contribution of each individual. You might be wondering why I'm within the sisters, considering that we have been talking about the order of the Incarnate Word Sisters. The founder had envisioned that once the foundation becomes active or active and running, she had to have, we had to have three organs or three arms. One of the arms, of course, is the arms of the sisters, which by the time she was by dying, she had already established. Now we have uh, the order of the priests or the male section of, uh, of the congregation. And here in Kenya, we have the Society of the Incarnate Word at the Society of the Incarnate Word, where we are training priests and brothers. Then on the other hand, we have the third arm, which is of the lay associates of the Incarnate Word. We are all over the country, we are all over the world, uh, wherever the, the order is. And here in Kenya, we have uh, our presence is in Machakos uh, Diocese, in Nairobi Yak Diocese, we are in Akuru Diocese, we are in Eldoret, and in Yauru Diocese. The lay associates or the section of the lay associates encompasses everybody, lay members, who after some form of training become uh, part of uh, the, the order so that they continue complementing what the sisters and the priests will be doing. The 400 years have come with this great, great blessing of the order coming together, all the, general, the seven generalates coming together and becoming one. That will take place on 2nd July 2024. The celebration will take place at 6 p.m., which will be presided over by the Right Reverend Simon Peter Kamomoy, Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Nairobi. We have the great honor to have our Superior General with us, who will be also opening this assembly of lodging 400 years of our existence, 2024 to 2025. This celebration will be brought to you live on Capuchin TV and across its various social media platforms. My dear young people, we are here today as we celebrate our jubilee 400 years. Would you like to be one of us? Qualifications for lay associates, 
it's only to be a good Christian, practicing Christian, whereby you are able to live your life as a good Christian and extend the gospel to other places. For the Society of the Incarnate Word, the main score is C plus and above, whereby you have good qualifications of going to university because you need good preparation so that you can be able to reach out to wherever you are sent. And for the sisters, it's only C and above. If you have college, if you have university, actually you have a room in our congregation because we have universities in different countries in our order. So you are most welcome and may God bless you. Come we celebrate with joy and gratitude For every life we touch, for every soul renewed In Eucharistic we found our guiding Was to dwell among us, blessings shine upon us Come we celebrate with joy and gratitude For every life we touch, for every soul renewed in Eucharistic, we found our guiding was to dwell among us, blessing shine upon us.